Hello fellow YouTubers, this is BHL Crane Style, and today I'm bringing you some gameplay footage of Titanfall on the Xbox One. For the new Expedition DLC has just been released yesterday, and Game Update 3 has been released prior to Expedition. But th before I start, I'm going to go over the much needed changes that have been made to Private Match Beta. Now in Private Match Beta, you could finally set all the game options as you can set the kill limit and attrition, the round limit and last titan standing, you can set the pilot health, you can set the respawn delay on the pilots, you can set the titan specific settings such as the first drop time, the follow up drops after time, you can set the shields of the titans, you can set the AI of the grunts and specters, you can have grunts only, you can have specters only or both. You could pretty much set everything that you'd want to set in private match. You now can. Such as for those who play game battles, uh, you now you can finally play game battles. You can set everything. Uh, you can set all the MLG settings that you please. Also, for those who like to just run custom lobbies and have fun with a few buddies, you can do that too now. Also, there's a much improved last game summary, as in no matter what mode you're in, the game remembers your last game and also shows all the whole player lobby list and all the ranks that come with those players as you can see right here and also more details on your unlocks too also as you can see right here you got two extra class slots how you get those two extra class slots is depends on what playlist you play more frequently like for example if you play a lot of hardpoint if you play like five games of hardpoint you're gonna get class slot one which is be used pretty much only in hardpoint and then after 10 games you're gonna get class slot 2 also like these class slots as opposed to the original class slots now you can rename them all so you can rename them to your heart's desire as you can see right here of course also to note that if you play any other game type uh, those custom slots will change to what mode you're playing because the game will remember what setup you have. To start off the DLC we have Runoff which is set in a giant refinery and it's full of plenty of buildings to run in and out of for close range infantry fighting and as you can see I'm playing Capture the Flag in which from playing Capture the Flag I can tell you already this is a map that's best played in my opinion on Capture the Flag or Last Titan Standing. Because that being because in Capture the Flag, there's so many different routes and passageways that you can take coming to the flag and from the flag that to avoid the enemy, you ain't going to have an issue because there's so many routes you can take in this map. This map can be like a maze. Also, uh, for Titans, there's the whole lower waterway section, there's plenty of room to move around in so and there's also no shortage of routes to take being in the titan 2 so even when you're playing last titan standing you can just go up an obscure route and just flank your enemy so this map in my opinion is best played on capture the flag or last titan standing by the way this map also reminds me of rise one of the original titanfall maps because of just the general look of it, but at the same time, uh, unlike in Rise, this map is a little more open field. The next map we have is Swampland, which, like the tile says, the setting of this map is in a giant swamp. This map is pretty much made specifically for Last Titan Standing, as in it's extremely Probably, in my opinion, I think it's one of the most open field maps in the game. I mean, there's three major routes you could take in a Titan. As you can see, I am playing Last Titan Standing here. But at the same time, they're just... The only cover you have is the trees. And the rest of the area, the landscape, is just grass and swamp. So, a lot of open field and there's not many places to hide. Although, if you are on foot... There is plenty of mini temples and buildings that you can take cover in and, and chill until you're calling your Titan. But otherwise though, if you step in any of this region, you are going to get killed by a Titan. And there's nowhere much to hide. 
Also, as you can tell by watching this, you can tell that this map kind of reminds you a lot of like Diego Bot from Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back. You know, the swamp planet that Luke Skywalker went to to meet Yoda for his continuous Jedi training. Yeah, this map is Diego Bot. I wouldn't be surprised for a Titanfall Easter egg they threw in like a little Yoda doll. Cause the map's freaking Diego Bot. The last map of the Titanfall Expedition DLC is War Games. As you can tell by the title, the setting of this map is in a pilot simulator. As when you spawn, you warp into this map as opposed to being dropped off by a dropship. Also, you can tell in this clip that this is a wall runner's paradise. Like, this map is just so fun to wall run on and parkour on and use the pilot maneuverability of Titanfall to its fullest extent. As far as Titan combat's concerned on this, there's only like three tiny corridor routes you could take in a Titan and there's not much strafing to be done in a Titan. So in other words, this is a pilot's dream map, unlike other maps in Titanfall. So in my opinion, this map would be best played on attrition and hardpoint domination because even in hardpoint domination, A, B, and C are in closed off rooms and can't really be accessed by Titans, so there's no Titan capping in this map. Now to go over other major gameplay changes from Titanfall Update 3. Of course, in the description will be a link to the full patch notes. Start off, of course, uh, now you can filter your challenges. You can toggle between most progress made, which was the original behavior, completed or almost complete, on your challenges. Uh, extra Look Drift Guard. We added a new high thing to the Look Drift Guard controller option. This is useful for players experiencing and being bothered by view drift on their controllers. Players who prefer the original behavior should have it set to low. Level Stats. We added a new menu on our personal stats showing statistics per map such as how many times you have played each game mode and won each game mode. This allows players to easily track the achievement I've seen it all requiring you to play each game mode in every map. Amp Weapon Pickup Distinction. In other words, when you pick up a, a dead pilot's gun that's amped, it'll let you know that it'll be orange on the ground as opposed to it being blue for non-amp weapons. Scoreboard icons. We have added two new scoreboard icons to provide additional awareness during play. One is an icon that indicates that a dead player's auto titan is still alive. The other is an icon different players who have successfully evacuated during the epilogue. Nuclear eject. Now it does more damage against titans. Previously, an Atlas with full health can survive a close-range nuclear ejection. Given the long tail that nuclear ejection has, we decide it is appropriate for it to decimate Titans that are within the blast radius. You can no longer knock a Titan out of its dome shield with Titan melee. No longer tries to do damage to other Titans if they are under own dome shield. Previously, there were circumstances which this could result in a Titan unintentionally taking damage. Dome Shield now protects Titans against nearby Titanfall splash damage. EMP effects no longer messes up your screen when you're inside Dome Shield. MVP killing the other team's MVP now gets you 25 points. Capture the flag assist points. Players now are now awarded capture the flag assist points. If you help carry a flag back to base, you'll receive 100 points as long as the flag was never returned by the other team between you possessing it and your team capturing it. Capture the Flag Titan Adjustment. The ability to embark on your Titan with the flag has been removed. You will now need to utilize teamwork and can ride on a, titan, a teammate's Titan with the flag. Wow, that's a big one. Titan, uh, titan Falls. Disable Titan Fall near the evacuation location and stop Titan Fall from doing damage to the drop ship. Dropping your Titan on an evacuation ship was not an intended behavior. This is BHL Crane Style. Remember to like, comment, subscribe our channel. Also, come check out Community 2 and join BHL. We take gaming to the next level. Good game.